Oh my God, what? Okay, my battery's low. I have a cold, I have to be quick. Hey guys. So my birthday's in like two days. I have this weird sinus thing going on. I had a cold for like four weeks in the summer. It would not, I went to the doctor twice, wouldn't go away. So annoying. And now I am like flames on the side of my face, heaving breaths. So I like to film something, my birthday week. Usually I upload it on my birthday. I don't know when I'm gonna upload it. Maybe I'll do it sooner I started to fall over. I had things that I was gonna talk about. I don't feel like talking about them because I'm in this place again where I just wanna complain. So it's my birthday. I'm gonna do a shit list. Now, if you don't already know, I've done this a couple times before, you can check out the previous shit list videos. I will include a link in the description of this video to those so you can look at them. This started because I was finding myself complaining a lot and I decided I didn't like that I was complaining a lot. So I gave myself a challenge. Every time I had something pop into my head that I wanted to bitch about, I wrote it down. I had a little document thing on my phone. I put it in there and then I forgot about it. I told myself, you don't have to worry about this because it's written down so you can just forget about it. And then I thought to myself, wouldn't it be funny to recite this list on camera on YouTube like a year later, all the things that I complained about. Would I still be angry at the stuff that I was angry about in December as I was angry about in January? And that doesn't make sense. But you understand what I'm saying. And I've said this before, it worked so well, this exercise, that by the time December rolled around and it was time to do the video, I forgot about it because I hadn't been writing in my shit list for so long because I had forgotten about bitching about things. So I urge you to do this. I think everyone should do this. Keep a shit list. Something bothers you, write it down, forget about it. It's so helpful. It has been so helpful for me, in fact, that the next year and then the next year when I was, I was having to really strive to find things to complain about, which is precisely why I stopped doing shit list videos and everybody's doing another shit list video. I'm like, you don't fucking get the point of this, do you? The point is to not be upset about stuff anymore and you're upsetting me by talking about this. But it's my birthday and I'm feeling just a little annoyed that I have a cold. So number one thing on the shit list is always People who don't have a sense of humor, this is meant to be fun, funny, it's a little bit of a jab at things, get over it or leave. Number two on the shit list for this year, having a cold on your birthday, being sick at all on your birthday. What the shit is up with that? Number three, being sick with a cold in the summer. Summer colds make no sense to me. I don't understand it. It's like blue sky sunshine. You're supposed to be outside like, hey, what's up? It just wears me down. Number four, I'm gonna stop doing the numbers soon because I'm gonna lose track. I was talking to my friend Beth, she's Gloss Galore on YouTube. Gloss Galore, not Galoss Galore. We were having this conversation, she was bitching about something and I completely resonated with what she was talking about and that's what kind of prompted this shit list. So it would be unfortunate if I didn't bring up the first thing that brought up the thing in the first place, which is people who have an American English accent and then pronounce, they get on YouTube and they pronounce a French brand or a French product name or sometimes with Italian with an accent. No. Giada does this one, and I love Giada. She's like, I don't watch cooking channels anymore. I don't have cable, but what, back in the day, she was like Natalie Portman cooks for me. I thought she looked like Natalie Portman, and Natalie Portman's always been like top of my list of girls that I would give it a really good try for. Giada does it whenever she says, Parmigiano, bitch, I, don't, I know you're Italian, but you fucking raised in California, say Parmesan. Beth's point was, People don't do it for everything. Why are you selecting, this is hilarious, why are you selecting which accent you're going to use? You're just using a French accent for French words, but you don't use an, like a British English accent when you say Stella McCartney. People don't, look at my new bag I got from Stella McCartney. They don't, that's my British accent. No, you don't use a Spanish accent when you say Balenciaga, right? Rolling right along with the theme of YouTube. I mentioned this when I did my previous video, the one that I just uploaded about Jeffree Star's makeup bags. 
people who don't respond to your response to their critical comments on your videos. This is very irritating. If you're gonna leave me a comment and you're gonna be critical and you're gonna tell me what I should or shouldn't do or you're disappointed in me because I bought something from somebody that you don't like and I respond to you in a constructive way and I leave a message and I'm starting to sound like Raven and I say the things that, that would say to facilitate a conversation, facilitate a conversation and you leave? or just don't say anything. I get it if you don't say anything because maybe you just don't check your comments again and you're like, whoa, I just left a comment and I'm gonna wander away, that's fine. But don't delete your comment and then go away because it's like, what the fuck? I took time to write to you. You took time to write to me to tell me what you think I should and shouldn't do. So fucking suck it up and have a conversation with me. We can disagree and be friends. The point of conflict, I don't know if you're aware of this, the point of conflict is to bring people together. It's not to tear people apart. We have conflict, we have differences, we find our way around them. That's like normal human existence stuff. That's the, that's the point of conflict. Conflict isn't scary. Stop avoiding it. I'm getting all like, oh, I, I, have, I don't feel good, so I'm getting like, I'm very winded. Hi, buddy. No, I know, honey. You gotta lay down though, stop. You gotta, here, be quiet. People who tell you how you're supposed to feel about a thing, what you're supposed to do with a thing, or, or how to be. People who tell you what you're supposed to think. Emotional hijackers. This is all annoying. Stop being a cunt. That's all I want to say. And, and also, people who think it's not okay to say the word cunt. It's a wonderful word. And it is very appropriate in some situations. Now you shouldn't just run around and just say it. And you probably shouldn't say it on YouTube because, you know, it's not the nicest word. But sometimes it's just... Cancel culture, lemmings, sheep, idiots, morons, dipshits, shit for brains, and clogs. I don't know if I've ever told you about clogs, but this is something that was presented to me when I was a teenager. Someone was saying something about something something and the clogs are out today. What are you talking about? I'm imagining shoes. And they say no. It, it, you know those people who just like kind of go about their lives and they clog up the freeway and they clog up the mall. They're just boring. Those are the clogs clogs. People who think that breakfast is just for breakfast. Breakfast for dinner is one of the best meals ever and when I'm done with this video I may just go make myself some waffles. Grammar Nazis. People who don't understand the actual point of communication. The reason we communicate with one another is to understand one another. Is it more important that you are factually correct or is it more important that people understood you? That's something that you have to decide for yourself. If you're the type of person who I, it's more important that I'm factually correct, I don't give a shit if people don't understand me because they should know that this is the rule of blah, 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 then we probably shouldn't talk because we're not going to get along and that's okay because that's differences. <laughs> but communication, I, if I'm talking to you and I say banana, pancake, waffle, apple, grape, ape, and you know what I'm talking about, then we've done our job. It doesn't matter that no one else knows. Darmok with Jalad at Tanagra. <laughs> Reference. Texting. People who think that texting is a form of communication need my foot so far up their ass. You cannot have a meaningful connection or contact with someone via a form that allows you to edit and change and, 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 and really like, like do not what I'm doing now, which is stumbling over what you want to say because you're very passionate about something. If you can like go back and go, oh, I didn't like how I said that. And I get to like decide when I want to respond to that. But no, that's not human interaction. It makes me fall over. I've actually been considering getting rid of texting. This is something that I may do. And if I do, I will report on it. I've been thinking about this and so I've been asking people just for like a month. I want to do it for a month and I want to try it. I want to see how it feels because I rely on it and I know a lot of other people do. Interestingly, people in my age bracket, thereabouts, are all like, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. You would think that younger people would be like, oh no, that's horrible. Mm, you'd be wrong. It's everyone who's like my parents' age and older. They're like, are you crazy? You can't not text. I'm not gonna talk to you if you don't text. So the reactions have been extreme on both sides and that makes me think that I'm onto something here. So 
I may be doing that. Am I getting closer and closer to the camera gradually? I'm not sitting in anything, so it allows me to move about the room freely. YouTube drama, that's all we need to say. YouTube in general, because what the fuck? Getting your posts removed on Instagram when you're fully clothed. I have a patron-only Instagram account. This is something that's available for patrons. By the way, let's take a moment to say, if you like the content that you're watching and you'd like to support the channel, please do so by checking me out on Patreon. It is just patreon.com slash Dustin Hunter. There will, of course, be a link in the description area of this video. There are multiple tier levels to choose from and exclusive content and videos and all this stuff. And I have this Instagram account. It's got like 30 people on it. That's it. It's private. And I had a post removed recently because it was sexually inappropriate. And it was a picture of me. I was trying on pants, standing there and I got my hands in my pockets. Now my hands aren't like grabbing anything. They're off to the side so you kind of see the pattern because I have, you know, whatever you would do when you stand with your hands in your pockets. And it is, I mean, it's a leg shot and it's got my crotch in there, but it's covered because I'm wearing pants. And they're like, I'm sorry, you violated our terms of like, this is sexually explicit. I'm thinking, do you know how many like, like half naked people are on Instagram? Like all the time? Is it because I have 30 followers and I'm a private account? And so therefore I'm not allowed to? We're down to the last couple. And I have, it was difficult for me to honestly come up with this. So I do urge you to come up with a shit list because it is hot as balls right now. Oh my God, we're in the middle of this like, and I'm sweaty, but I wanted to wear this outfit. Cause I'm feeling this like Parker Lewis kind of thing. Like I feel like I listened to Color Me Bad right now. People who think that they know the answers are generally always gonna be on my shit list. If you don't think that you're a dumbass and that you really don't have a clue, then you're probably dangerous and please leave. Did I say anyone without a sense of humor? Was that at the beginning of this? That should have been at the beginning of this. And the last one that I have is people who complain. Anyone who complains enough to have a video <laughs> of a shit list, just shut up. This is a message to myself. Get over it. Blah. And that's, that's the end of my shit list video. Happy birthday to me. How are y'all doing? I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. Birthday plans, I learned a long time ago to not really make plans because sometimes they fall through and then I get upset. Or sometimes I'm not in the mood for the thing I was in the mood for a week ago when the day comes. So now what I do for my birthday is I write a list of options. Like I have a menu of things to choose from and then whatever I wanna do in the moment, that's what I do making plans for the next few months because as we know, we're getting into October. And that may mean some things. Oh my God, I need to take my clothes off. I am like so pitted out right now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments, hi puppy, uh, leave um, in the, them in the comment section. Hi. Do you wanna come up? Ugh, Baxter says hi. And um, he's not on my shit list, are you, buddy? Say bye, buddy. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. What? Get, get it. What is it? <laughs>